Also, you probably have a lot of likes and followers on Instagram, but I think one of the hardest things to do is convert traffic into actual profits because sorry to break it to you, Instagram likes don't really pay your bills, but I'll teach you something that can. Let's get to it. I don't know, is that shit? Yeah, shit. No! Uh, yeah, that is shit. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Jade. Today I'm gonna to help you actually place your first Instagram ad that actually works. So a little bit of background, I actually help personal brands grow and monetize their business. Because essentially guys, you're all creating something, you're all selling something, and you have to pay the bill somehow, so I'll teach you how to do that. Hey guys, so we're actually at the lake. Um, I thought I'd just show you a little bit of my town. And it's quite beautiful, so for everyone that's new, make sure you like and subscribe. That's my mom on the channel. It's a great time over here. It's on the fam squad. Make sure you like and subscribe. Are you liked and subscribed? Are you liked and subscribed? By the way, congratulations to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. How do I stay to the end? I'm actually giving away a free coaching session for one of the comment winners. So if you want to be the next comment winner, stay tuned. So guys, a while back I made a video asking strangers if they clicked on Instagram ads. Do you say like would you interact with the Instagram ads or no? Most of them said no. So I thought I wanted to make a good training course to teach you guys how to grow your like online presence the right way instead of annoying the consumer. Alright guys, so the first step, I made an acronym, it's always easier to remember. It's ARC. Awareness Targeting Customer. Disclaimer, this actually doesn't work if you have like a shit product. For example, if you're an artist, make sure your, your tracks are fire. If you're a YouTuber, make sure your videos are already good. If you're a video editor, make sure you actually have a really good feed and you're proud of your work and you believe in it. Marketing just exposes the shit out of your product. I'm telling you right now, this doesn't work if you're not already happy with your product. Maybe if you just got started, wait a little bit. And honestly, paid advertising, which is this whole video, is not needed to grow a successful social media. I grew my channel from zero dollars in my pocket from last year to 7,500 subscribers with nothing in my pocket in three weeks. So I can do a whole video on that if you're interested, just comment below. But I'm telling you, you don't need paid advertising. This is just to scale it and take it to the next level. I wanna show you guys a good example of what exactly I'm talking about when advertising is done kind of bad. Here in my garage, you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? <laughs> I realized that the one way to annoy people is just to show an ad that has no relevance to them multiple times. The first time, it's all right. The second time, f you. The third time, I'm going to sue you. Okay, so we're gonna find this thing. Ah, I just stepped in shit. Insert my tutorial. This is not a. This is not a Facebook ad tutorial. There's so many other videos you can look at. This is more of a mindset strategy implementation. Is on your end. It's a lot of work, honey. So. uh be careful. These are my results from the last post I did. I haven't ran an ad in a while. So you have two options. You can use a bullshit uh, Instagram promote button, but that's not really going to work for you. The reason why it's not because Instagram sucks. Facebook bought Instagram. They own each other. Anyways, um, it's actually the targeting. So in regular ads on Instagram, you can't do this. You can't target people in the industry of entrepreneurship, women in 13 to 30. Everyone in this location, you can't make a custom audience, you can't use pixels, it's just limited. So that was just a little bit of insight on why I don't believe in the promote button and you're probably wasting your money because you can use all that money instead of spreading on a general audience, you can do a specific targeted audience for a lot cheaper. At the awareness stage, don't sell anything. Just maybe, just maybe do, here, I mean, here's a few examples. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, I made this for the video, so just don't judge, okay? That's what I would do for stage one. Keep it humorous, keep it light, keep it, if you wanna, if you're not a funny person, just give value, maybe tell them what's up. If you're a marketer, maybe tell them your results, but don't sell them anything. At the awareness stage, get them pumped up. That's the most like off-putting thing. People trying to give a call to action. You don't even need a call to action. You just need their attention because then you can go over to step two. Stage two would be again the retargeting. So you're gonna retarget people that have seen this ad maybe 50% way through. And you know, after they've seen 50% of this video, you're gonna show them this one. So this one has to be more specific. You see what I mean? Like it's just if I was selling an ebook, that's what I would do. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing because I would never actually make it that shit. 
but you know you can use your phone you can just record it I made all my edits using Adobe Premiere Pro but you can honestly just use iMovie <laughs> so once you show the consumer the first ad that you would target them you want to close the sale this is when you can ask for you know the jab jab right hook so you can ask for whatever you're trying to sell if you're trying to sell a product or e-commerce maybe you just swipe up feature um, you have to remember your goal are you looking for an email list are you looking for more likes on Instagram like what is your goal make sure that's your call to action but whatever you do do not put your call to action in the awareness stage because that's gonna turn off your consumer really easily actually it takes the consumer like I think 9 to 11 times for someone to purchase a project stage 3 obviously is gonna be the customer so you're gonna make them do the final call to action so you're gonna retarget people that watch this one maybe 75% or more and then retarget them in the cart so then you only show a certain amount of people this one wait just give me a chance i know you're so like i get more desperate that. over the course of the time wait, but at the end it has a call to action as a swipe up feature so there you go i think my main pointers is do not do this if you don't have a budget for it i again i organically grew my account you if you don't if you have the money pour it into ads like a lot of people are like refusing to eat or buy the right equipment because they want to pour it into ads you don't need to you know, honestly this is like you don't you don't have to this is my rule for most like good marketing good marketing should live by at least 10x so 10x return on investment so say you pour a hundred dollars in ads if you're not making a thousand dollars then honey like it's not gonna be good in the long term i know you guys are like also with me on long-term legacy but long-term legacy doesn't work when you don't have anything to eat for tonight right so <laughs> i know i'm exaggerating but like that i truly mean it like please love yourself guys so don't um beat yourself down if you can't afford an ad budget because you don't need to always split test you know if you're not seeing results people give up people freaking give up on their ads the second day they post it like what do you expect like give yourself two weeks that's why you need a lot of money so that's why this is like not for everybody it takes two weeks to really see results don't start changing shit so you look at the results after two weeks give yourself time everyone's being on a rush they're just like running on this like freaking race like take time on your ads split test once you see results after a good chunk of time and don't keep changing it because all you're gonna do is ruin what you already have and never analyze the data you've received all right guys back home <laughs> okay so I know this was very complex because it works not everyone does this most people actually charge like thousands of dollars for me to say this so i probably shouldn't be saying this right now honestly but i want to give you guys the best and this is going to take a lot of work but it only comes down to one thing so listen up this multi-stage template works so well it's just it comes down to are you split testing enough you need to split test the targeting or the audience demographic and you also need to split test the ad itself the video what split testing means is you put instead of posting one video you post two and out of the two you see which one performs the best that's all and you keep running the one that wins so you need to keep testing on your demographics it takes time i would say a good ad takes a month to build but if you're just like jade i want to grow my instagram now i want to get followers i want someone to buy my t-shirt i want to make a brand now you're like screw this i actually do coaching calls and your lucky day guys if you want to hop on a call there's a link below immediately but if you're like that jade i'm broke i have a free 30 minute coaching call just for you guys so if you want me to help you walk you through how to place your first ad how to grow your social media 10x um comment below this i want to know your thoughts on if one thing really didn't work for you at all that most people would say worked just comment below something and i'll pick a winner for tomorrow by the way I did a Bitcoin giveaway. I'm giving $10 worth of Bitcoin. I don't know how it's gonna work. So I will still announce the winner, but I don't know how to actually send Bitcoin. This giveaway will be a little bit easier. It's not huge, but I know it's gonna give you a huge head start. Just check the links below or comment right now and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.